All right, so welcome back. So what we're going to work on now is we're going to be working on building up towards um, actually making a dialogue so that we can add quotes. So one of the things we need to do is, of course, be able to uh, have an input element for the quote, an input element for the, for the movie, um, and then also a done button. If we look at what the finished version is going to do, you can see that if you click on add quote, or if, if I click on it in my finished version, it pops up and it says add a movie quote, which is a nice title. It's got a quote, it's got a title, um, and then it's got a way that you can add it. So that's our goal. So first we're going to add the modal. That's what we're going to do in this one. And then next time we'll add the form in the next video. So we just want to, we just want this, right? So if you click on this, it to pop up. Um, and if you hit cancel, it goes away. So we just want that, that modal. Obviously, if you click on our page now, it, it doesn't do that. It doesn't do anything when you click that add button. So that's our goal. So what we're going to do is we're going to go learn more about modals. Uh, so go visit the Bootstrap page. Uh, modals are considered uh, CSS, or sorry, they're considered JavaScript. So if you want to, you can, you know, you can probably just type in the word JavaScript if you've been to that page before. And what you can do is you can just navigate uh, to the area that says modal. Um, and in the modal area, there is uh, a static demo, which is not really what we want. Uh, but then there's a live demo. So you can see there's code in here for setting up a modal. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on copy. So I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. Uh, and then I'm going to just paste it below my nav bar. So I'm going to put it below my nav bar stuff, uh, but before my scripts. So there I've got my modal. If I want to, I can highlight it and I can do a, a control shift F to, to redo the formatting. Um, and so you can see that there's a couple things we copied in. One of them was actually a button. Um, this button is going to be what, what launches the modal. We don't actually want a button, right? Because we want to use our uh, add quote to, to do the launching. Um, but let's look at it before we blow it away. So there's some classes that, that show how it's presented. Um, and then there's these things, data toggle um, and then data target my modal. Um, so, I mean, to be honest, that kind of looks like some gibberish. These are directives to Bootstrap to do something, right? If you wanted to learn more about directives and Bootstrap, uh, if you scroll to the, uh, the top of the page, you can see it, it starts off talking about what are the data attributes um, and how can they be used. We're just going to do an example right here. So go ahead and copy those two. So I'm just going to, well, or, or you can cut them. Uh, blow away that button because we don't want to make a new button. And what we want to do is in our add quote, um, like before or after the href, um, we want to add these new things. So we're going to say, hey, bootstrap, do a data toggle on a modal, right? So this is toggle the modal. Uh, the target, so this is the name of the modal. We're going to eventually call our modal the add quote modal. Seems like an easy enough name. All right, so that should launch the modal. Um, we need to next change the ID of the modal. You can see it, it was called my modal when we copied it in, but we want it to be called the add quote modal. And actually just that change there should be enough to see the functionality. Let's go try it. So if we go visit our page and do a refresh, so make sure it's refreshed. Uh, and now if we click on add modal, uh, what should show up is, uh, is a modal, right? Um, it just says modal tile, it says save change, it says close. There's some things we need to fix. Um, we'll worry about the insides later, but let's go ahead and fix at least these three uh, before we move on from this video. So fixing these guys up, uh, you can see we've got the name the way we want it. Um, there's this uh, tag for screen readers. You can go ahead and update this, right? So it just says add quote. No, nobody will ever see that, but that's a, a feature for accessibility. And then you can just kind of like start looking at this thing. So there's some, some things in here for the close button. Um, it looks like it's the little X, which is the times. Um, there's the modal title right here. So we can just say add a movie quote. There's also an ID on it that says my modal label. We don't need that ID. I'm actually just going to remove it. If you left it, there would be no harm. And then there's a close button, which we really want to say cancel. Um, and then there's a save changes, which I'm going to change to say add quote. So save it up. Uh, go refresh your page. 
uh, then click on add quote um, and you can see now it says add a movie quote cancel um, and add quote um, we're gonna go ahead and cut this video off here just because this was showing the modal um, and then we're gonna make the the figuring up of the form uh, a separate video all right so I'll see you next time when we add the form to this guy